Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to another review video. Uh, so, the last video I did, reviewing Johnny, I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, I thought I'd do another review here on a figure that, again, I haven't been able to find any reviews myself on. And that is Silver Chariot from Part 5. Uh, the only reviews I was able to find are reviews from Part 3. Uh, so, I thought I'd do one of these in case anyone was interested in buying it and wanted to maybe see what you get and how it is beforehand. Uh, so unlike the other Silver Chariot, this one being from part 5 is missing his right arm and both of his legs and he's just got these little these little stilts. Uh, so he doesn't stand up on his own so when he is on display he is going to need the stand that comes with the figure because he will not just, he will just fall down. He will not stand up on his own. Uh, yeah, but we'll take a look at what he comes with here. Uh, so he comes with an alternate head, which is from part 5, uh, plot significant stuff. Um, it's when he gets hit by the arrow in his final fight. He also comes with, of course, his sword, his rapier. He comes with two sort of holding hands. They both have holes in them, so he can hold his sword. And he comes with two sort of open hands, one that's sort of all the way the fingers are fanned out, and the other one where they are sort of quite close together, sort of relaxed hand. Uh, the other accessory he comes with, uh, he comes with this little laptop here. This is Paul Nareff's laptop, and you can see it's got pictures of uh, the gang from part five in it, and it opens and closes just like a normal laptop. He comes with the turtle, uh, Coco Jambo, I believe. Uh, and he has two versions here, one where he's out of his shell and one where he's tucked in his shell without the key in his back. And he also comes with the key. And the last accessory, one of the coolest, he comes with is the Stand Requiem Arrow. Now, unfortunately for me, my Paul Nareff's hand was a bit tight while trying to fit the arrow for some poses and it unfortunately snapped my arrow in half. So the arrow is in at two places, so if you are posing your figures just be careful because the arrow is very very delicate and will break very easily. Uh, so going back to take a look at the figure. Uh, he's got these, his shoulder pads here are on their own joints so they can move freely from the rest of him. They've got good move both ways and they are actually quite, uh, they are quite sharp so if you are moving this do be careful because they will, I'll give you a little bit of a poke. Uh, articulation, he gets about 90 degrees in his arm there effortlessly. Uh, same on his other arm as well. Uh, his legs, my figure's legs are a bit tight. They don't actually want to move back and forth. But this one will, and so we see going back the way, we have, again, about 90 degrees. There's nothing impairing him. So great range of motion there. Uh, and same going back, almost 90 degrees. Uh, so it's a great figure. Uh, like I said, though, you will need to have it displayed with the stand to be able to have it on any type of display because he won't stand on his own. Uh, we'll do a quick size comparison here if we try and get him sort of flat-ish. So here is Chariot standing next to Killer Queen from part 4 and Chariot looks a bit taller but he is actually standing on his base just now. So that tiny bit of uh, difference between them uh, is the base making up. So he's about the exact same size as Killer Queen. So the average stand size uh, within this series of figures. And here he is standing next to his user Paul Nora from part 5 sitting there in his wheelchair. So that's all the figure really has to offer. Uh, it's really good, it's really well made. The part 5 figures are some of the best made in my opinion. Um, he is quite difficult to display if you have a small display area since he must be on his base stand which can be quite annoying but you get all the accessories you need for Paul Nareff and Diavolo, the arrow that comes with him. So he is an important part 5 piece and he looks great in the collection. So yeah, definitely worth getting. He just, he's actually a really cheap figure and uh, I'll do some poses for the end of the video. But hope you enjoyed uh, and hopefully more reviews to come. Thank you. Thank you.